All right, guys, welcome back. So we've got a bit of a mission on today. We've got to go and take this rental car back down to Bangkok and swap it over for another one. So the plan of action is this afternoon. Now we're going to drive down to Savannapun, drop this one off, jump in a taxi, head over to Dung Myung area, night in a hotel there, jump in a new rental car in the morning, and then maybe we'll stop at a supermarket, depending on how we're feeling, depending on how busy it is. We used to grab a few things that I can't get up here. And um, yeah, so it's been like three months since we've last left the province and even that was just to swap the cars around the last time. The roads were pretty busy going into Bangkok back then, so I'll be interested to see if it's any quieter. Hopefully it will be. That main road after Saiburi to Bangkok is like, uh, it's just a nightmare of a road. I hate it. So if that's a bit quieter, I will love it. I've been hiring loads of hire cars because I'm not sure what actual car I want to commit and buy. Cars are a bit overpriced here, um, so I want to make the right decision. And like in the future, I can see I want in like a truck and um, like a just like a town car or a car for traveling around the country. And making a decision now is proving really difficult because I only want to get one, and it wants to suit the needs of what we're going through right now. So, like the higher cars at the moment are like some really good deals uh, down with the main suppliers, and I prefer going through the, the main companies just because you feel a bit more protected. Uh, and to be honest, I haven't actually found any decent deals up here, even through word of mouth. I mean, I'm still getting a lot cheaper price down in Bangkok and, and it makes for day out as well, right? But yeah, so I just go for literally the cheapest car, um, as long as it's something I know I'm going to fit in. Um, yeah, and um, I've only had good experiences, so I can't complain too much, really. I tend to do three month rentals because I feel like three month is sort of long enough that I haven't got to worry about anything mechanically any fluids, too much, too much wear and tear. And after three months, swap it over for one that's just been checked and ready to go. It's kind of has some logic in my mind about that, but I don't know if in reality it's true. petrol, lottery tickets, food, on we go. Right, two and a half hours later we are now in Saraburi on the number one and uh, yeah it's pretty quiet, it's pretty quiet. How are you? Oh yeah, Kim's here as well by the way. Hello! <laughs> Here we are now in the Amari at Dong Myung. Taxi ride is really good. Nice to have someone drive me around for a change. But what was noticeable was the amount of closed businesses, the amount of shuttered down shop fronts. Like for, for every like one open shop, there must have been at least 10, 12 closed ones. So yeah, that was a, that was a bit sad to see. And um, according to our taxi driver, we had to take us a bit of a mishmash route around Bangkok to get up here because um, in the Ding Dang, I think that's right, in Ding Dang area, the police are putting cargo containers down to block the roads because of the, the protests that are going on at the moment. So yeah, I mean, I love my politics and I'd love to talk to hours about the, the political situation in Thailand right now, but it's not really the sort of thing I want to do on YouTube. So um, yeah, come buy me a beer and I'll, uh, I'll chew your ear for a few hours about politics, no worries. Anyway, this hotel is nice, we've been here before and um, yeah, definitely nice for a one night stopover. Pool area, outside area, looking really nice but of course no one using that right now. Room scored well as well, wide room with a bath. It's one thing about our house, we don't have a bath so nice soak in a tub tonight. A bit of room service, got Man U on in a few hours, so I'm going to watch that as well. Chill out and go and pick the car up tomorrow. Right, yeah, so uh, nice drive down here to Bangkok. No checkpoints whatsoever. 
uh, a couple of government officials under a few tents at a few points but nothing slowing the traffic down easy easy best drive i've ever had down to bangkok right see you later guys Okay, good morning. So we've just checked out at the Amari. Good food, good bed, good bath. Now we're walking over the bridge across the main road. Let's go and pick up a car. Very quiet. Very quiet. Okay, so we found our way to the Villa Market, quarter of an hour away from the airport. It's still quiet roads, but it's not easy if you've never been on some Bangkok roads with lots of bikes and everything, but the car is feeling pretty good. It's the bigger Yaris, not the hatchback. It's like the saloon version, so it feels a bit newer than the last car, so that's pretty good. A good driving, yep. Yeah. Really good. Oh my god, she's <laughs> paid to say that. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna to go to Villa Market and try and just see a few things that I can't get in Pitchupin. So we've got a few good staples from the Villa Market, some pasta sauces, some cereals, some white wine, some sparkling wine, some chocolates, some biscuits, all the really good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that was good to do. And we just come a few minutes down the road at the Porto Tour, breakfast, lunch. I love the jiffy pies. If you know, you know, really good stuff. And uh, yeah, four hours onwards home, here we go. Right, just made it back home. 30 hours since we left. Cats are here, couldn't care less but absolutely nailed it coming back from Bangkok. Just over four hours, new record. Roads so quiet, no checkpoints again coming back. So there's a few sort of road blocks. As I saw them sort of traffic calming blocks, but there was no one manning any points or anything like that. I think because we're all dark red and the provinces we've been through doesn't really matter. And I think in Bangkok, they're kind of more occupied with the protests that are going on over the weekend as well. So yeah, no problems there. Got this beaut, Yaris ATIV. I haven't had one of these models before. It's all right, it's got a bit of nip on it. It's really good, really good deal um, through rental cars. A bit of a loyalty reward on it as well. So yeah, there's some really good rental options to be had at the moment, even through like the main companies that I use. Like I said, up here in Pechabun, there's not really that great value for rentals. I mean, if you want like a truck, four by four or something big those prices aren't bad compared to like the the main companies but i'm only looking for like the cheapest of the cheapest and at the moment with the promotions that are going on and your loyalty rewards and all that it's still making a company like thai rent a car here from one of the airports the best value for me and it throws the opportunity to go to bangkok every three months or so so hopefully next time we do that we can incorporate it with a trip a bit further south restrictions and all that being well so uh yeah here we go back home same, cat's all right. It's about, what are we, right, half five now? Five to six. Go and get something to eat, get a cold drink, and chill. All right, cheers guys, thanks for following us. See you again.